What up? I'm Josh Paulison, and welcome to Your Story Now. So last time we talked about illusory interactivity, and today we are going to talk about why you might want to use it. So it can help players take things seriously, but still take a great outcome. So for example, let's say that you have a very difficult seeming choice, and you want to make sure that players still have a great story experience. Well, what you can have it is that regardless of the choice, the story moves in a certain direction. Personally, I'm not a fan of this because to me it just feels like it diminishes player choices and the reason why is because it does, because they don't really have a choice. But this is something that you can consider. I mean, you can even use this to lampshade that the players don't actually have choice, which can actually be a very impactful experience. Now, of course, illusory interactivity only works if the players don't know that interactivity isn't there. It's the same thing as hidden interactivity. If people know that it's in play, it doesn't work. So on subsequent playthroughs, this will not actually work, but for an initial playthrough, you can use this to great impact, and perhaps you're even making a statement your decisions don't actually have impact in the story world. Regardless, you can use this in order to help your players take things seriously, but still get the outcome that you want, a great outcome.